Hello everyone, Halloween Prom Hunter here, and happy May the 4th. Or if May the 4th be with you, happy Star Wars Day, or just happy May the 4th, if you don't celebrate Star Wars. But since it's May the 4th, I'm going to do my top, top eight, 8 favorite lightsabers. First, from Star Wars Legends and Canon. And let's start with Legends. And number eight, Darth Revan's purple lightsaber. I love Darth Revan's purple lightsaber because eventually it represents his stance between good and evil. Well, if you don't know who Darth Revan is, I guarantee you to look him up, up or read the book. Look, Revan, or just look him up on the Star Wars Wikipedia or play KOTOR, a.k.a. Star, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I can't speak today. I'm sorry. So, um, um, I do love Revan's lightsaber. For I love of everything about it. The design, and it's so smooth and very, very, very customized, and it's really, really cool. cool. Um, number seven is Darth Bane's Legends curved hilt lightsaber. If you don't know, there's actually a Legends version of Darth Bane, and eventually, despite all the artwork of him, him having a straight, straight hilt, hilt like these two, Bane's actual lightsaber is actually a curved hilt. And apparently, it's almost like Count Dooku's, except it's a lot cooler. Anyway... Hey, sorry about that. Um, Darth Bane's curved tail lightsaber was extremely light, like, which means it was actually one of the most dangerous ones, possibly next to XR Kuhn's lightsaber. And I recommend you look up pictures of it and pictures of Darth Bane. And we all know him, him for canon, and he's the creator of the Rule of Two. Too, and I love his lightsaber. It's so cool. Wow. Number six is the one and only the Darth Maul's double-bladed lightsaber. You're probably wondering which one I'm talking about. I'm talking about his original one in The Phantom Menace. Yes. The Phantom Menace is one of my favorites. It's not really as great as Revenge of the Sith, but it's great. Right. Anyway... My Darth Maul's double bladed lightsaber is literally very, very cool. I love the design of it. I love the fashion design of it. And I love how eventually you can go from a single bladed lightsaber to a double bladed lightsaber in it. in it. And if I remember correctly, it may actually have a dual phase. I don't really remember that much about Darth Maul's lightsaber. I think it does have a dual phase mode, but I don't really remember but I really do love the design of it. it it's really cool, really awesome. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see. Number five is XR Coons double bladed lightsaber. XR Coons double bladed lightsaber is actually one of the most dangerous ones of all time in Star Wars Legends. Star Wars Legends. In the Star Wars Legends lore, or Exar Kun was also one of the most powerful Sith Lords of all time. Time and instead of wielding a red lightsaber, he wielded a double-bladed blue lightsaber that he can actually wield in one hand. Like literally, he hold it in one hand. And apparently, he's literally that badass. Ass and eventually. The blade was very, very dangerous. Because the Jedi literally feared it even to this day. Hey, even back during the Old Republic days. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Exar Kroon's lightsaber has a unique design on with spikes on both ends. And it was originally a single blade lightsaber, but he modified it after he joined the Sith to be a double blade lightsaber. So, yeah. 
Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Go check out the pictures of it. Wow. Oh. Number four, Darth Malgus's Axe Lightsaber. If you don't know who Darth Malgus is, Darth Malgus is literally the Legends version of Darth Vader. In fact, he's actually the Darth Vader before Darth Vader. Vader, and he's literally a badass. Trust me. I mean, he has a standard hilt lightsaber. For like these, except eventually he ha had blades on the hilt and on the emitter. Er, and apparently he used it, it to engage many famous Jedi such as Satil Shan, Venzalo, Lokeo Sindarach, and Arlen Lanier. Here, he also won several victories for the Republic with that blade. Wait, I also love the design of it, how it's heavy, and apparently it ha has blades on it. And that's what actually makes it so unique. Hey, so, go check out our Darth Malgus, Malgus and his lightsaber, will ya? Yeah, please and thank you. you. Number three, Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber from... Um, Revenge of the Sith and New Hope. Oh, I love Obi-Wan Kenobi so much. I love his lightsaber. I love everything about it. It's so cool, so unique. In fact, and it has to be the second most iconic or possibly the third next to Anakin Skywalker's and Darth Vader's and perhaps so much more. Or lightsabers that I haven't gotten to this list. Yes. Apparently, Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber... Vader's fate is unknown. However, in legend, since we do know that apparently Vader actually took the lightsaber and kept it in one of his fortresses in legends. Um. So yeah. And number two is apparently the Ahsoka Tano's those white lightsabers. Ahsoka Tano is one of my favorite canon characters so far. Are, and apparently, I love her design, I love her lightsabers, I love the white lightsabers, because eventually, they actually remind me of katanas. Honestly, I also like how eventually it's slightly curved. Or almost like Count Dooku's. I love the way she fights with it, and I love how they actually ignite. Right? I love the sound when they ignite. And I love how they're white lightsabers. I love everything about them. Um. So yeah. Go check them out. I don't have replicas of the sabers yet, yeah, but hopefully one day I will, so... Yeah. yeah. Anyway, before I reveal my number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Darth Sidious's lightsaber. Darth Nihilus's lightsaber. Darth Revan's red-slash-blue lightsaber. Ever. Satil Shan's double bladed lightsaber. Ever. With an awesome um, design carved onto it. But all of the Jedi and Sith Old Republic's lightsabers. Ever. And the Grand Inquisitor's double bladed spinning lightsaber. And we save the best for last. Number one. On. On. It is literally a tie between Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber and Darth Vader's. Which I have right here. And this is Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber that was passed on, on from Anakin to Luke. And in the sequel trilogy to Rey. Rey. Rey was actually the one who actually touched it. That actually had a force vision of the past. Past and all those others. There's... But its original wielder was Anakin Skywalker. Anakin wielded this throughout the Clone War Wars, and we all know the rest. Yes, his other lightsaber we eventually know. Know of the lightsaber that he had is Darth Vader. Here, his lightsaber was literally big enough for him to actually crush the hilt. Hilt, not so much that eventually he can shorten out the blade. And I love. The design of both Anakin and Vader's lightsaber. It's so iconic, so unique. And I think Darth Vader's is second only to this one. Now that is a cool lightsaber. And these are my lightsabers. I know they don't look that well. Oh, but I did the best I could when I created them. And with my mother. I know they could have 
they could have been a little bit better, but hey. Yeah, this is how the the Shoto lightsaber that we have have here is eh, yeah, not not so good, but eh, whatever. For it's it's the best that I can do. I also like to give some shout outs to a few other lightsabers, which are our Ula Keldroma's lightsaber, er, and all the Inquisitor's other double-bladed lightsabers. Ers, and Grand Master Yoda, Mace Windu, Du Shakti's, Kiati Mundi's, and everyone's favorite Star Killer, Ers, lightsaber. Both Galen Merrick and the clone of Star Killer. Their, their lightsabers are so unique. I love them to bits. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Do you agree with my list? What are your top 10 favorite lightsabers? And if you actually would like, please give this video a like. Like and subscribe to the channel and share it with other people like friends and family. It would really help out my channel. Well, I did the best that I can, can with this video. You know, it may not be the best, but I tried. Right, and that's all that matters to me. So, please like, share, and subscribe, and until we meet again in the next video, goodbye.